we uh, received uh, the news that uh, the border might be opened uh, late at night after midnight and we came to see what uh, is the situation we just heard uh, the news on the way that the uh, Israeli Air Force has uh, had an air raid on the area. However, it was actually an Israeli tank that hit an Egyptian military position on the Rafah border, wounding Egyptian border guards. According to official statements, Israel apologized to Egypt, saying it was a mistake, and they have opened an investigation. The border has been uh, bombarded several times in the last few days by Israeli air forces, damaging uh, the uh, crossing from the Palestinian side. This did not deter Egypt, however, from allowing aid trucks to cross the border into Gaza late Sunday night. All the aid into Gaza is being received by UNRWA workers before being brought to UN shelters in South Gaza as per Israeli instructions. These trucks, you see the, uh, the way it's honking, it's, it's sort of celebrating, not celebrating as much as showing solidarity with the Palestinians, that it is coming there to give them aid that they need very much. There was a feeling of excitement, especially amongst those heading into Gaza. Thank God. I'm going to deliver the aid and return. We pray for their safety and the end of this ordeal. However, Gaza officials say only 34 trucks have reached the Palestinians, as the rest are still awaiting clearance from Israel. This is slowing the process for an enclave which the WHO says needs at least 100 truckloads of aid every day. Yasser Hakim for CGTN, Rafah border crossing, Egypt.